We've always wanted to travel to Vietnam and Cambodia. There are so many things to see and so much to learn about. The culture, the history, the, the people. Then we discovered Uniworld has a new ship on the Mekong River. Once we saw the itinerary, that was it. We booked our staterooms on the New River Saigon. The River Saigon is absolutely amazing and so incredibly comfortable. The whole ship is furnished with warm wood tones, and so the second you walk on board, you immediately feel like you're in such a warm, welcoming environment. It fits perfectly in the setting that you're sailing along the Mekong River. All of the staterooms have beautiful French doors that open out onto a shared balcony that runs around the whole width of the ship. So if there's a nice breeze when we're sailing, you come home, you leave your glass cabin doors open, just close the screen doors, and you get a wonderful breeze in off the river to enjoy while you're in your cabin. At the end of the day, you've been out touring, you've been walking in the villages, you come back to your stateroom and it's like an oasis. The sheets are so silky and comfortable, get a fantastic night's sleep, and enjoy all those little luxuries like robe and slippers that really make it feel like a vacation for you. We love to stay at Red Carnation hotels. They're stylish and they set the standard when it comes to hospitality. Knowing that there are sister companies with Uniworld, we knew we could count on that same level of service and attention to detail. Their motto is no request too large, no detail too small. And you'll notice that on board, whether it's the turn down service at night, a note left to you from the engineering department that something's been checked on, napkin folding, every detail has been met. And the staff on board make sure that guests feel that it's literally their second home. When you come back from tour, one of the waitresses is waiting with a tray of cold towels for you to rinse off and, and clean your hands after you've been out exploring. Every meal was an experience. Uniworld's master chef Bernard Zorn created the menu himself. The spices, meats, and vegetables all fresh from local markets. And so each dish is nuanced with these local flavors. The hotels that we use in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi and in Siem Reap, extremely comfortable five-star hotels. The staff goes above and beyond to make sure that all the guests are comfortable and that every need is met. Our hotels couldn't have been better. After a day full of touring, we retreat to this luxurious room, relax, and feel totally rested tomorrow. It's a 15-day program, and the second you land, you feel the energy. It starts in northern Vietnam in the city of Hanoi, or in southern Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. Both of those cities are busy, hectic. You're surrounded by millions of motorbikes. Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City both have this exotic big city electricity. It's, it's an exciting introduction to the culture. They just fill your senses, the sounds, the lights, these fragrant food markets. Our guide knew where to find little places that were off the beaten path. Someone's home or a beautiful temple tucked away in a neighborhood. In the middle of a modern city, you find this preservation of culture and you realize you're witnessing traditions that go back thousands of years. The history of Southeast Asia is fascinating. And it isn't always easy, but it's all part of the story of Vietnam and Cambodia today. Having a Uniworld guide with us to explain what we're seeing and relate to us as own stories and really bring a personal touch to it just made all the difference. The best part is the touring is included. Life on the Mekong River, it just moves at a different pace. These incredible scenes drift by, people in their canoes, small villages. It's like time travel. You see Cambodians or Vietnamese planting their rice fields. You see them harvesting their crops. And you see kids running out to the water and they're waving. And they're just so excited to see you. They're just the happiest people. It's a much more relaxed part of the program. My favorite spot is up on the sun deck. 
There is nothing better than pulling up a deck chair with a thick cushion, watching the sunset, and sipping a drink. And with complimentary drinks on the River Saigon, we might just have two. I can relax if I want to, or I can fill my free time with everything from cooking classes to one of Uniworld's signature lectures. You'll be staring out at a village and thinking, I wish I could stop there. As you get closer and closer, you realize we are stopping right on the shoreline. The crew jumps out and literally builds you a bridge and a stairwell. The locals come out to welcome you and suddenly you're walking through their village. Someone invites you in to watch them weave on a loom that has been in their family for a hundred years. The next thing you know, you're in a sampan. Being served fresh fruit and hot coffee. And then you're climbing through the giant kilns of a brick-making factory. Or feeding carp at a fish farm. We had this incredible moment where we were blessed by the monks in a hilltop temple. Then we sat in a local school. You're just immersed. It's these intimate experiences that make touring with Uniworld so special. You have really meaningful interactions with the visitors along the way. Kids are running out to meet you. Locals want to practice their English with you and you get to know each other. We have three different guides. So no group is ever more than 20 people, and the guides also use a transmitter listening system. So small groups are going off into these villages, your guides telling you all about the culture in the villages, about the local life of the people there. You never have to crowd around to hear anything. With Uniworld's listening system, we could wander off and do our own exploring and not worry about missing the insight and commentary from our guides. Phnom Penh is such an important city on the Mekong River and you can feel that when you're there. You see these impressive government buildings and busy streets. At night it becomes a different city. The cafes lining the streets fill with people, the lanterns are glowing, and the night market opens with rows and rows of the most beautiful art and handmade crafts. The smells of local foods drifting through the stalls. Every stop just gets better and better. But one of the highlights is Siem Reap. The city just has this mystical atmosphere to it that's hard to define. It's a place where Cambodian culture is on full display and there's a sort of laid-back buzz with tuk-tuk zipping around locals playing games, food vendors, and, believe it or not, the fish pedicure was fantastic. This mystical spirit comes from the complex of ancient temples on the outskirts of Siem Reap, including Cambodia's most famous landmark, Angkor Wat. And to see it at sunrise just defies description. Uniworld packed us this fabulous picnic breakfast and we topped it off with an elephant ride to the temple. The size of Angkor Wat catches you off guard. I mean, it's as tall as Notre Dame Cathedral. You wonder, how did they build this? The surrounding temples were forgotten for so long they've been partially reclaimed by the jungle. So everywhere you look, these giant ficus trees have taken root in the walls and the buildings and, and are prying apart the stones. The serene faces of Cambodian kings peering down at you. Beautifully intricate scenes carved into the temple walls. Being there in the middle of it and understanding just how significant these things are, you can't help but feel this incredible sense of the wonder of it all. 
the sheer magic of this place. We grew so close to each other, our journey might have come to an end, but the friendships we've made here will last forever. We've shared this life-changing experience and it creates a bond. It's amazing. Our fellow passengers, the Uniworld staff, people who just a few days ago were strangers to us, now we're all more like family. And that's something that you can't really put a price on. We've already called our travel agent to plan our next Uniworld River cruise. Our only problem? We can't decide between Europe or Egypt on the Nile. I guess we'll have to do both. <laughs>